Hey guys, this is Real Spot 9001 here for episode uh, 12, I think. Yes, 12. Uh, I just cut the video right there. So, uh, this is like directly after recording the last one. I didn't even do anything, I just pressed space to cut the video. So, now I'm going to take out Wretched Ghost of the Attic and Dancing Elf and put in Paralyzing Potion and Guy of the Fierce Knight. And that's all I'm going to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two duels against him if I fail the first one. Because I'm going to duel him, prepare to meet your doom. Then I'm going to reincarnate something strong like Suijin. And then with the cards I got there, I'm going to try again. And if I fail both those times, which is very possible, I'm just going to grind off camera and then I'm going to come back with some more cards. Hopefully with Goblin Fan. Because Goblin Fan would really help in this duel. Reverse trap right off the bat, that should really help me. Now, he has Ryoku, just like the other Mana with Amphablia. Now here is how his AI works. On the first turn, he'll either play a Ryoku down here, he'll activate a Dark Hole, or he'll play um, Royal Decree down here. If he doesn't do that, he'll summon a monster. The monster he summons is either Kinetic Soldier or Gate Deek. Kinetic Soldier has 2350, is a level 3 machine. Uh, yeah, BS. And the other thing he could have is Gate Deek, which is just a 700 attack monster that went flip face up. His summoning level is increased to maximum. So I'm going to attack with Violent Rain to like set out some water terrain. I mean some sea terrain. Yeah, there's Gate Deek. Now he can summon any monster. Any monster he wants in his hand. The reason I'm doing this is to take away the darkness so that I can, you know, use Suijin as a beefy beater to take down some strong monsters. And maybe, you know, use Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. You know, for Violent Rain, he uses Lightning for an attack. It's kind of a, you know, kind of uh, weird. Anyone else reminded of Jinx from the PS1 by those lightning bolts on his head? Anyone else played that game? No, just me? Okay. So basically, if uh, this guy activates Ryoku, Reverse Trap will negate it, except I'll still take 2,000 life points worth of damage. And there is Summon Skull. About to put me in my place. Because, yeah, you'd notice it has 3,000 attack points. Why? Because his deck leader has that damn boost ability. And it turns out in the course of this duel, I've peeked over my uh, cap of uh, how loud I've been. I'm going to wait, play down a Dark Piercing Light, and I'm going to wait and summon Sujin when he gets closer so that he'll... Because his range on that boost is only two spaces, so yeah. You think you can beat me down, you can't. Sujin for the win! This duel seems to be going very well. But, you know, he's prone to using uh, Dark Holes at a split second. You suck. Ha, ah, that monster just lost 1,325 attack points. Uh, of course you're going to play it in attack mode, though. See, that, that monster's a, it's attack... Like, Burfamit only has 1,400 base. Its attack went so low it went to zero, and it's only held up to 500 by that boost. Hmm, do I dare? I have a plan. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Hit, 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 hit. 
You just got stunned. Now he's just gonna bide his time and play some rather random cards. And I'm just gonna sit down here and draw out, draw this uh, game out. Meanwhile, I want to see what those cards are. Burfamet and Thousand Dragon. That's interesting. Well, since I know Suijin can take it down, I guess I will take it down with Suijin. Um, you know what? I'm gonna just go uh, quickly go uh, this, 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 this to get rid of them. Yeah, that's gonna make Blackland Fire Dragon. I don't believe I've ever fused for Blackland Fire Dragon in this uh, side. Thousand Dragon, meet Suijin. And I'm gonna move here to see if he's gullible enough to move his Burfamet forwards. And he is. Wow. You know, for the, uh, super end boss, you know, you'd expect him to be a lot tougher, but, you know, I kind of, uh, totally wrecked him with Reverse Trap. And, uh, I guess, yeah, he just, he just was a complete idiot at the end and let me win. This is gonna be a short episode. I'm disappointed. I never got my satisfaction out of any of the either of those, you know, Dark Knight fights, Manawadan fights, whatever you want to call them. It, uh, yeah, I, 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 these they just left me dissatisfied. Yes, give me only Burfamet. By the way, in case you didn't know, Burfamet's effect is the same as Gate Deek, so yeah, that's an explanation for you. No, no, yes. This is not justice. You cannot lose. Well, you just did. Impossible. No. And he has laser eyes, just like the last one. Confirms that he is the same person. Yeah, this is talking about forbidden memories and something. Basically, I'm just gonna skip this and, and tell you basically what uh what you probably would understand or something. This is what it was. What, what <clears throat> this is what happened. Uh, Seto was in some kind of pact with some other card guardian who promised power or something, and then that card guardian got sealed away somehow or something or left. So, Kaiba wanted to summon it to, you know, gain power to defeat his enemies and something. And needed your help to do so. And he accidentally summoned the wrong one. And he's saying, you can take this and show this to one of my descendants and we'll say, oh, you're cool or something. And this is basically saying the same thing, exactly the same as the, uh, thing. Except that's a different code, I'm pretty sure. Or it's not, I don't know. Save? No. So yeah, that was the White Rose side. And, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of pissed that, you know, they didn't put up a fight. They just went down easier than a sack of hammers. It's just like fighting Joey and Rex. They didn't do anything either. They I just clean sweeped them. At least, at least Pegasus put up a fight before I uh, smashed him up. But these guys didn't. Weaklings, all of them. Uh, uh, Mai was the only person who beat me. Mai. You know the, the the one that you know was a, a uh, I, I don't know.
I don't know where I'm going with this rant, but you know. If the final boss can't beat me, if neither of the final bosses can beat me, if even Pegasus can't beat me, but my can, when I'm using the Twin-Headed Behemoth deck with Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon in it, and I lose to my and no one else, that's just kind of sad. And the credits. I'm, I don't really read the credits because I... Why would you read the credits when you can look at the cool background pictures? Or, you know, just look at all the cards flash by that you don't have. There's Carthagen. I would have liked to get Carthagen and make the Gate Guardian. Didn't use Dark Gu Dark Plant either. And there's Sangha. And Suijin, our savior. And there's Dark Vision Girl. General Director, Hideo Kojima. No, this wasn't made by Kojima. Also, there was a card. There are cards that fall down there that just have question marks on them. So now what happens? We get put back to the title screen. Hooray! Uh, how long has this video been going on for? 11 minutes. 11 minutes. That, that's a very short episode. Um, yeah. Should I end it here? Because I, I really want to do something, like, different on it or something. Uh, I, I don't get it. Yeah, uh... Jeez. I'm kind of contemplating right now, even though I should end the video. You know what's going to happen, but yeah, I'm just going to end it here. This is, sorry, short episode today, but you know, there's going to be a good episode tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, this is The Real Spot in 9001, signing off on episode 12. The final, the, the not finale. One more episode. Bye-bye. Uh, bye.